you took his property, and if you didn't know who it belonged to, mm -hmm. he then told you who it belonged to. You had the responsibility to return it to him, seek to find out who his parents are. You mm -hmm. can do that. But what I'm telling you is when you hold on to someone's property and refuse to return it to them, it's a larceny. Well, I, didn't, I don't care it's I, a well. I didn't larceny You're not a anything. lawyer. Are you I a lawyer? I my yard. I, I don't, are you a lawyer? No, ma'am. I'm telling you, it's a larceny. It's the same thing. Let's say it wasn't a basketball and it was a four carat engagement ring that you mm -hmm. found on your lawn. Yes, ma'am. And you took it and you took it inside. Mm -hmm. And the person said, oh, gee, I, I know I dropped it. It had to be here. Came up, knocked at your door and said, do you have my four carat engagement ring? And you said, yes, I do. It was on my lawn and you can't have it back. But I had several balls. I so, don't care. I mean, a four carat now, now ring is play, totally different than, four ball, than several you're balls. Playing, you're playing with me. No, I'm not playing with yeah, you. I'm you're telling you with me. exactly. That if doesn't it was... excuse Lamont from kicking your car. And he kicked the car because either he lied to me or he lied to the police. And what he told the police, he told closer in time to the event than now. Now I he's had time to reflect. I wasn't out there when he talked I'm speaking. Now he had time to reflect. He had time to talk to his father, who probably got just as annoyed as I am with her, and say, uncross your hands because I know his father wouldn't like a liar any more than I like a liar, right? True. Because he either lied to the police or he lied to me. You wouldn't encourage your child to lie to the police, would you? Right, I wouldn't even let him talk to the police. He did speak right to there. the police. And so did he, because it's in the I'm police not report. speaking to you. Yes, ma'am. They spoke with him when I wasn't out there. I don't care. So I don't care. know what was said. I don't care. Your responsibility as a father right. is to say to your son, if you told the police the day of this incident that you kicked the car because she called you a name, and that's the truth, you have to stick with that story. I'll take it up with Miss Brown, but you don't encourage your son to lie. Do you understand me? I understand what you Great. Saying. Now I will see an estimate of what it cost to fix your car. I Did never you... seen the car, seen the damage. How do you know the damage wasn't there before that? How do I know the earth is round? <laughs> For real. You don't understand what I'm saying to you. I think that Miss Brown is 100% off base. They're kids. They're playing sports in the street. They're not doing anything bad for society. They're not doing anything illegal. They're playing basketball. That's what they're supposed to be doing at age 9 and 11. So I have no sympathy for her at all. You get that? He can't kick her car. That's not the response to something that you don't agree with. He goes home. He says to his father or to his mother, this lady down the street has my basketball and she won't give it to me. Then you go to her house and you say you have my son's basketball. Tell me what the problem is. Do you understand how civilized people take care of their problems? And if you condone your son kicking her car in response to her bad behavior, that's inappropriate teaching. You got it? Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $700. We're done.